Zimbabwe, land of beauty, land of struggle. And now, land of a very public political drama. It's like a soap opera, but with real consequences. On one side, we have Chris Mutsvangwa, the outspoken head of the War Veterans Association. On the other, Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, a man who needs no introduction in Zimbabwean politics. They were once comrades, now they're locked in a bitter feud. What's at stake? Power, of course. Influence. And the future of Zimbabwe. Buckle up, folks, because this is going to be a wild ride. This isn't just about two guys who don't like each other. It's about the deep cracks in Zimbabwe's political system, the fault lines that run through the ruling party, ZANU-PF, and the hopes and anxieties of a nation desperate for change. Mutsvangwa and Chiwenga go way back. They fought together in the liberation struggle. They were brothers in arms. But as often happens in politics, things changed. The camaraderie faded, replaced by suspicion and rivalry. The cracks started showing when Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe's longtime ruler, was ousted in 2017. Chiwenga played a key role in that, paving the way for Emerson Menangagwa to become president. Mutsvangwa was right there with him, cheering him on. But the honeymoon didn't last long. Mutsvangwa, never one to shy away from controversy, became increasingly critical of the new government. He accused it of corruption and failing to deliver on its promises. Chiwenga, now the second most powerful man in the country, didn't take kindly to this. The stage was set for a showdown. Enter Neville Mutsvangwa, Chris Mutsvangwa's son. In a move that many saw as a direct attack on his father, Neville was arrested on charges of fraud and corruption. The timing was suspicious, coming just as Chris Mutsvangwa was ramping up his criticism of the government. Was this a genuine attempt to fight corruption? Or was it a way to silence a critic? The answer, like most things in Zimbabwean politics, is murky. Neville's arrest sent shockwaves through Zimbabwe. It was seen as a sign that the gloves were off, that Chiwenga was willing to use the full force of the state to crush his opponents. But it also backfired further inflaming tensions and raising serious questions about the rule of law in Zimbabwe. Chris Mutsvangwa isn't just any politician. He's the head of the Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association. These are the men and women who fought for Zimbabwe's independence. They hold a special place in society and wield significant political influence. Chiwenga knows this, of course. He's a war veteran himself, but by going after Mutsvangwa, he risks alienating a powerful constituency. The war veterans have always been a key pillar of ZANU-PF's support. If Chiwenga pushes too hard, he could trigger a backlash that could destabilize the party and the country. This is a high-stakes game, and both sides are playing for keeps. Section 5. Judicial Independence Under Scrutiny Neville's case, and the broader feud between Mutsvangwa and Chiwenga, has put Zimbabwe's judiciary under the spotlight. Is it truly independent, or is it being used as a tool in political battles? The judiciary has long been criticized for lacking independence, especially when it comes to cases involving powerful figures. There are concerns that judges are susceptible to pressure from the government. Neville's case will be a key test. If he's found guilty, it will raise serious questions about the fairness of the trial. If he's acquitted, it will be seen as a victory for judicial independence. But either way, the damage has been done. The public's trust in the judiciary has been eroded. Section 6, Menangagwa's Balancing Act. Caught in the middle of this storm is President Emerson Menangagwa. He's trying to maintain a delicate balance, keeping both Mutsvangwa and Chiwenga on side. But it's a tough act. Menangagwa needs the support of the war veterans, who are a key part of his power base. But he also needs Chiwenga his powerful deputy. Alienating either one could have serious consequences. So far, Menangagwa has been playing it safe, staying relatively quiet on the mutsvangwa chiwenga feud. But he can't stay neutral forever. He'll have to choose a side eventually, and his decision could shape the future of Zimbabwe. Section 7. Implications for Zimbabwe's future. This isn't just a personal feud, it's a symptom of a much deeper malaise in Zimbabwean politics. The country is struggling with a legacy of authoritarianism, corruption, and economic mismanagement. The Mutsvangwa Chiwenga saga highlights the fragility of Zimbabwe's democracy, the lack of checks and balances, the erosion of the rule of law, 
and the deep divisions within the ruling party. What happens next will have a profound impact on Zimbabwe's future. Will the country slip back into authoritarianism? Or will it find a way to build a more just and democratic society? The stakes couldn't be higher. Section 8, a show that never ends. So, there you have it. A very Zimbabwean drama, full of intrigue, power struggles, and uncertain outcomes. It's a reminder that in Zimbabwe, the past is never truly past. The ghosts of the liberation struggle still haunt the present. This is a story that will continue to unfold in the weeks and months to come.